<laughs> Today we're working on the Baby Lock Acolyte and this eight thread serger could do so much and it comes with all kinds of amazing things in a bundle and even though it can do so much everyone has to do a hem once in a while whether you're making a garment or even repairing one that came out so i thought we'd concentrate on the bottom edge today using the baby lock accolade i'm kathy this is sewing tech talk let's get some professional simple results <laughs> So working along the bottom edge. Actually, the Accolade, like I said, is an eight thread serger. That means it can do a cover stitch, which is if you have any kind of knit fabric, any garment, it has that cover stitch on the bottom. And that's that kind of finish that has the two threads on the top and it covers that in the, on the back. That's called a cover stitch. And it can do a chain stitch, a cover stitch, even a triple cover stitch. And it can also do an overlock stitch. And we're going to be using the overlock stitch to do a blind hem on the serger, which is a really great edge finish as well. So let's get started. Now, the Baby Lock Accolade comes with an amazing bundle. One of the parts of the bundle is a 16 foot kit and there's all kinds of different feet. We're only going to be playing with three of the different accessories that come with it today. We're going to be playing with the clear foot, the blind hem foot, and the seam guide, which is going to be super helpful when we're doing our uh, when we're doing our cover stitch. Now, the machine also comes with thread in the bundle, and it comes with all kinds of information. It comes with naturally a quick threading guide. All the feet come with a special booklet to show you how to use them all, and it comes with an inspiration guide. What I want to show you today is I want to go a little bit beyond those and I want to show you how you can prepare your fabric, your project to get really super professional results. Now, do you need to do this? Not necessarily, but sometimes it's really helpful to prepare it. It only takes a few minutes and you get super great results. So now let's talk about that cover stitch. The machine is set up for the cover stitch now and I have the cover stitch table on and I've also of course lowered the blade because we're going to be dancing on the top of the fabric. The one thing about the cover stitch is it is stitched looking at the top of the fabric and not the back. Now, you want to hit that edge on the back. So it's nice to have something that helps you do that. And the seam guide is really super helpful. What happens is it attaches onto the machine just like this. And there are two accessory attachment screws that come with the machine. And you can attach it to this cover stitch table just like that. And then if this is the, the hem that we're going to use, what I would do is I would lay it on here and I would see where that raw edge is. Now the advantage is on the very front of the foot, there's these little marks where the needle's going to be. So I can line it up. I want that fold to be just underneath, right? So I'm going to line it up and then tighten it on down. And I know that I'm going to hit that raw edge. Now, more importantly than that is I want my raw edge to be kind of consistent, don't I? And I don't want it to wiggle around. So here's my first super tip to really get a professional cover stitch hem. What I do is I take a piece of fusible web and a fusible web is, a, is that is that fusible stuff where you can put one fabric and iron it down to the top of the other. And generally it comes where you attach it and then there's this paper back that you peel off and then it has fusible on the inside. Well, what I do is I fuse a strip of it. Just cut a strip the width of your hem. I use it to fold. I patch it on. I iron it on and I can use that paper to get me a nice crisp edge. Then all you do is you peel off the back, go to your iron, fuse it on down and you have a very consistent hem. Moreover, it gives it a little tiny bit of body. Now, I've made a pair of pants and we're gonna hem them right here. So let me bring them over. Here's my pair of pants. Now, I've always maintained with a serger, you literally can make a pair of pants faster than you can wash them and dry them. So here's my pants that I've already prepared and I've put that fusible web on there. I've turned it up 
and I've ironed it on down so I have a nice edge. So let's stitch this, okay? So let me get everything out of the way. I'm going to take my pants on up and, whoops, here we go. So let me get my needles all the way up so I can get that fabric underneath there. Now, if you've been cover stitching, let me lift it up so that you can see, and you have your threads there, it's okay if you just push the item underneath. It's going to push those threads out of the way and it's going to look like it's going to become uh, not forming a stitch. It's going to take care of it and make a stitch for you. It's okay. The baby lock serger can stitch a cover stitch in the air. Most machines can't do that. So there it is right now. I have it under there. I'm going to lower the presser foot and I'm just going to check that that edge right there is right under those two. But I promised you we're going to do another accessory and it's right here. Another one that comes in that kit that comes with the Accolade bundle is the clear foot. It really is identical to the regular foot, but it's clear. Now why is that a big deal? Well, when I'm coming around to the other side of this hem, I want to overlap it just a little bit. And I want to see my stitches before I get there. So if I take off the traditional foot and put on the clear foot, as I'm coming around, I can literally see when I overlap my stitches. So let's put this to the side. Let's get everything going. And make sure those threads are out of the way. There they are. Now I am using the thread that comes with the bundle with the Baby Lock Accolade. It comes with an overlock box of regular thread, but it also has thread that matches that's a, that's a stretch bulk thread. And it also comes with assortment of colors as well. But I like using that stretch bulk thread in the lower looper. It's very soft and it covers very, very well. So I have that in the cover stitch looper. <laughs> Enough talking, let me get to sewing. Now let me stop and see if I've adjusted it right. I hope you can see, see how that's covering that edge perfectly? There's nothing even over over on the side here. So this seam guide that comes with the machine is really getting, helping me get the perfect professional looking stitch. Now here's the magic of this foot. As I come around, I'm going to overlap a few stitches. I can go ahead and clip away these threads. And what I want to do is I want to come up and I want to literally stitch on top of this thread and that thread. Now, the foot is clear and I also have marks on the foot. And I'm going to make sure that those that stitching line is going directly underneath as I go under the needle. Whew. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Now, I'm going to take it off, and I'm going to take it off in a special way. I'm going to lift my needles all the way to the top. I'm going to raise my presser foot, and I want to pull those threads to the back. So I'm going to make sure I have a whole bunch of threads here that I can go ahead and pull them to the back. I'm going to pull them from underneath the foot, clip and kind of pull it away so that they kind of pop towards the back. And then all I have to do, clip that bottom cover stitch looper, tie them off or use some seam seal it if I need to. And I have those threads all to the back and I have a really professional finish. Pretty neat, right? So now the clear foot and this seam guide is really going to help you. I also really like to use, sometimes if I'm doing a narrower cover stitch, you can get wash away, few, uh, not fusible, wash away sticky tape. And what this is, it has that paper on the one side and you can use it to hold your hem up to get a really good result. So I have this garment that I'm making and the edge of it, this fabric is very thin and it's very, very stretchy. So you can see if I'm taking this, I can really stretch that. Now, that would stretch out of shape when I'm doing my hem. 
Fortunately, on the Accolade, I have what's called a differential feed. So I can engage that, and it's gonna feed a little bit more of that fabric in so I don't get that wavy edge. But also, this wash away tape is literally something that I can put in that edge, hold it up, and it's gonna stabilize it for the time I'm doing my hem. And when I get done, wash my garment, it's literally gonna wash away. So wash away tape is another great way to do a cover stitch and make sure you have absolute professional results. So what else do we have? Well, <laughs> you may or may not want to do some advanced surging. I get it. This machine is gonna help you do all of that. But I get questions all the time when I'm showing the machine at maybe a show or something like that. Can you turn a corner with a cover stitch? What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about literally having the stitch come up and turn the corner. Now, remember I mentioned that this machine comes with a fantastic bundle? It does. And one of the things that's so amazing is it comes with this awesome, amazing, how do I do everything inspirational guide. And it has instructions for doing just about anything that you want to do. So here's a great pictures and complete instructions to show you how to turn the corner and make sure your corners look good. Now remember I promised you also I'm going to do some stuff that's maybe not in the book. So one of the ways I do that is I prepare my sample ahead of time. I'm big on making sure that everything is prepared. So if you're going to be doing the edge, maybe it's the edge of a vent on a hem, or maybe it's a sleeve that you have this vent coming over and you wanna be all fancy and turn the corner. Let me show you how I prepare my fabric to go ahead and do that. So what you can do is, and this is a very small piece, and when you're practicing, you might want to practice this technique. Make several pieces and see that, you see how you can do it and make sure you're practicing on something before you actually get to the official garment. So what I do is I fold up the edge, right sides together, and I stitch it along where that edge is going to be folded up. Because when you turn it to the right side, you don't want to be dealing with all of that different stuff coming to the back. It's really hard to control all of that. And remember, I have a handout for you in all my videos, and I'm going to show you step by step how you can prepare your fabric so that when you're turning this corner, you're totally good to go. So basically, I stitch the edge, I turn up a little bit, I clip that edge, and then when I turn it to the other side, this is basically what it looks like. I have the raw edge here and here that I'm going to cover, and that little edge is folded under. Like I said, just download your handout, and it's gonna take you step by step through that entire process. The one last thing I do is, remember how I told you you're stitching on the top and you're not seeing the back? Well, what I do is I put a little dot with a removable marker right where I need to turn. Now, this hem is small, this hem is large, so I can't use my seam guide, can I? Let's take that off. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch up here and then we're gonna turn that corner and stitch around there. And there's a little bit of a trick. Now, I have my clear foot on, right? So I can see exactly where I'm going. So I'm gonna put the fabric underneath there. I know that that's my edge. I can see it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch up until this left-hand needle hits that little mark right there. Let's see how that looks. When I get close, I'm just gonna turn my hand wheel. Now, here's the trick. When you're turning a corner, you have two needles coming there, right? You just really can't just turn it right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my needles up so that they're just out of the fabric. Pretty easy so far. I'm gonna lift up my presser foot and I'm gonna turn my fabric so that I have the left needle's coming down into almost the same spot, and this right-hand needle, well, this right-hand needle is gonna come down directly 90 degrees perpendicular to it. 
but that corner, what about the corner? Well, what happens is, and I'm going to bring you my sample, I have this big long stitch here when I do that, right? Well, I'm going to use a I'm going to use a word that I don't normally use in sewing tech talk. You're going to get out a hand sewing needle and stitch that part down with a couple of hand stitches. That's really the only way to get a super effective corner. But I need a little bit of thread to travel across here, don't I? Well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm just going to pull a tiny little bit of thread here on the, and loosen it up on the right side. Just a tiny little bit. You just need a smidgen. And when I'm all ready to go, let's lift those needles up. See that we're good to go. Are we coming down the same spot? I can see with my clear foot that comes with the machine. I think I'm good. Lower the presser foot and I'm going to stitch right along in here. Let's see how I did. So there's that corner. What I'm going to do is I have just enough thread to hand sew that down right there. And let's look at the back. Oh my gosh, I covered everything just right with that cover stitch on the back. Now I could have put my stitch length a little bit closer and had a, my stitches a little bit closer together. It's okay, but that my friends is pretty fancy surgeon <laughs> if you ask me so it's pretty simple to do their inspiration guide shows you and i also have a few tricks in the handout so that you can make sure that everything is pressed and set up perfectly now i have one other cool stitch to show you and we've played with the cover stitch oh before i forget the cover stitch you can get some pretty cool effects with the cover stitch. And one thing to do if you ever you go into the fanciest part of the department store and look at the fanciest clothes they have. You know, the ones that are very pricey. Because if you sew, those are all within your reach no matter what your budget is. Here's a, here's a hem I saw on a really fancy pair of pants. It's a traditional cover stitch hem. Check it out. It's a traditional cover stitch hem, but the hem is very wide and on the back there's a second row, there's a second row of cover stitch. Look at how elegant that is. Now a deeper hem hangs better when you have a garment, just like your curtains have a deeper hem on the bottom. This would be super easy to do and it's just two rows of cover stitch. You want it a little bit fancier? What you could also do is do it from the other side, put a fancy thread in the other side and use the back of the cover stitch to have another fancy part in there. Because you can do all of these different cover stitches and chain stitches, you can get some really neat effects and make your garments your own. Now let's switch over real fast and do a blind hem because you can do a blind hem on a serger. Now I made this jacket and on the bottom of it, well see, you can see I used that cover stitch to do some really neat top stitching. And on the bottom, however, I really just wanted it to be a hem that was just kind of like a blind hem. I didn't want it, this to take away from that. On the back, you can see that it's a serger hem, but it's a blind hem. So how do we do that? We're going to have to switch over to overlock. And let's just do that really fast. So let's take off our threads. Baby lock serger threads itself. So let's take out our threads that we have in there now. Take off my clear foot. Oops. Oops. Take off my clear foot. And we're going to move our threads around. Now, when we're doing our cover stitch, we have a table. We're just going to switch over real fast to overlock. And it's super simple to switch between one or the other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the machine I do want that upper looper engaged. By turning that dial, I want my blade to stitch. And so when I turn this knob, there comes my blade. It's up here to hap help me have fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to a two thread flat lock. What the heck is that? Well, even if you don't know what it is, <laughs> your quick reference threading guide is going to show you the booklet that comes with the feet that comes with the machine. It's going to show you. And the inspiration guide, 
it's going to show you too. Oh, and you can download my handout and that's extra information. So basically we're just going to move this needle back over here into the overlock position. Now let's tell the serger we're going to have it thread. So we're going to push it down to threading and move our threads over. For this two thread thread lock, we really only need two threads. So I'm going to take them and move them over here. I'm going to use the same threads. Now traditionally when we're threading the machine, we're going to use our quick reference guide of course. And if we're using overlock, we have these four slots that the threads go in. It's a little bit different when I'm doing only two threads. I'm only going to use these two slots here on the right. And one of the threads is going to go into the looper and one of the threads is going to go into the needle. So I'm just going to bring my thread up, lay it in the slot. Now when I Tell the machine I'm going to thread, I turn the knob, it's going to find its happy place. I literally stick the thread into the slot, stick the thread into the slot, <laughs> press the button, and it's easier to press the button and get the thread through than it is to stick it in the little hole. All right, now this other thread is going to come up and over, and it's going to go over to my needle, which is kind of unique, but it's pretty simple when the thread guide shows you how. So here, 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 and I'm just going to thread that needle. Now the machine comes with a really sweet needle threader and what you do is you lay the thread across it, put this on the needle, simply push it in there and it simply takes that thread immediately <laughs> through that needle. You're actually, I like to joke, that we sell you a really great needle threader and a great serger comes with it too. Now, when we're going to do that blind hem, the blind hem is a little bit different. What it is, is, here's a sample of what I did when I did my jacket. And you can see that, that you really can hardly see it when you have matching thread. So I did a sample in a contrasting thread so that you could see. What it is, it's little teeny tiny catches of that one thread. Now, prepare your fabric ahead of time so that it's easier to do. And use the specialty foot that came with the bundle with the machine. This is the hem foot and what it has, it has a little guide here on the side. So I'm going to snap it on and the instruction tell the instructions that come with the feet gives you a really cool visual of how you can fold this fabric to do that. But I'm going to add the following. What I do is I do a basting stitch on my sewing machine. Remember, a sewing machine is your first purchase and a serger, it's your second. So I've done a baste and what you do is you literally fold up the hem just like that. And what I really want to do is I want to stitch and just catch this edge. And this foot's going to help me do it. So I have everything set up. Oh, one last thing. I'm only using two threads, so I'm going to engage the subsidiary looper because I'm not using that looper. It kind of just closes it off. And it tells you that in the instructions. Here we go. Now, and, and any other surgery, what I would have to do is I'd have to stop and get out my instructions for the following. I'd have to really, really check and see what my tensions are. This machine doesn't have tensions, so I don't have to worry about it. All I have to do, thread it up, put it into thread surging mode, take my, take my sample, and let's see what I can do. What I'm doing is I am guiding, let me see if I can get something to point. I'm guiding that fold right next to that edge right there. The foot's going to help me put it through at just the right. And hopefully I'm stitching just a little bit on the edge of that fold. And I hope you can see it. I'm going to hold it up here so that you can see and I'm going to point it out. Can you see how just the edge of that stitch is catching that edge of that fold as I sewed? Now when I open it up, 
It's a flat lock seam and what's going to happen is it's going to lay nice and flat and oh, <laughs> I hope you can see it. You just barely kiss the edge of that and look at how beautiful that is. That is a professional folded a professional blind hand fold. Oh my gosh. This machine, it can do so much. And the bundle that comes with it gives you everything you need to give absolute professional results and take your surging to the next level. And the machine, it's going to meet you more than halfway. I'm going to shoot it off to George and I want him to tell you a little bit about a little bit more about what the machine does. Remember, I have other videos that really take this machine and make it dance. And he's going to also tell you about the awesome bundle that comes with the machine. Thank you for watching me today, and I hope all your bottom edges are really elegant. Thanks, Kathy. That was an incredible presentation, as always. You know, a serger can truly cut your sewing time by half. But so often, surgeons are difficult to use, so you don't want to go to your surgery. You try to do everything on your sewing machine. Now, Babylock invented the surgery back in 1967, and they were the first to incorporate air threading. The Babylock Accolade actually has motorized threading that threads all the loopers with a burst of air. Plus, it has automatic thread delivery. That means there's no tension. So I can use it on all different weights of a fabric from denim to knit fabric to sheer fabric. I can work with thicker threads. I can work with woolly th well, nylon thread, all these different threads, all these different fabrics without ever adjusting the tension. And that's what's truly amazing. Now this serger is an eight thread serger. So it actually is a, a serger and a cover hem all in one. Now I can use all eight threads at one time to work with heavy fabric or decorative fabric or ruffling. But I also can do uh, a cover hem, which is what you see in a lot of activewear on very stretchy fabric, also for home deck. But it truly has everything. And it's the easiest to use because you never have to adjust the tension. Again, with all the threads, all the fabrics, you never have to adjust it. Now, the Baby Lock Accolade, uh, we have a special package where it has a total retail value of $64.99. But right now, it's on sale for $39.99. We have interest-free payments of under $167 a month. We're offering free shipping across the country. But wait, for a limited time, we're offering a special bonus. Included with the Baby Lock Accolade is a 16-piece accessory kit that has all kinds of feet like this binder feet or belt loop foot, the ruffling foot, also a foot that allow you to sew over a wire to make your own ribbon. Uh, you also can do a sewing over beads and pearls. Also, there's one for sewing lace and many others. That's all included. Plus, we're including the inspirational guide, which is a step-by-step -step color book that walks you through every function, assuming you know nothing and gives you all the information you need. We're including several thread collections, including this Decora box, which has 12 weight rayon thread, which is gorgeous on decorative edges for uh, your different uh, two thread or three thread uh, decorative application. Plus, we're including a membership to Love and Knowledge that will show you all kinds of wonderful techniques and training on this machine. All this is included for under $167 a month, interest-free, or $39.99 if you want to pay for it. But don't wait. This is a limited offer. Click on the link uh, to order this machine or give us a call at 1-800-865-9664. Bye for now.